Why hello YouTube Baylor Mage here and today we're going over all of the tools and extensions and little things that we can get that I think everyone should have that should greatly improve your ability to trade league start all sorts of things just a, a big list of tools that we use this game has more tools, more external apps and external websites and tools than any other game I've ever played in my life. So we're going to go through the ones that I think are the most helpful. Um, links to everything in the description of the video. If you see something that you really like that you didn't know existed, <clears throat> absolutely grab it. So going through the list, we've got a few of them. First of all, better trading. Better Trading is a extension that works for both Chrome browsers and also Firefox. And it is this little thing that I have right here, which allows me to save a bunch of different searches in a bunch of different folders. Um, you can do all sorts of things with this. These are basically just become one click buttons that search for things. Um, unfortunately, the league is over, so we're not actually going to see anything we're not actually going to see anything but when the new league starts all of these will work i've got all my charged compasses saved here all my boss maps saved here you can also use this to set up searches for all of your uniques or even searches for rare gear you can set up any search you like ahead of time right now today you can search for anything you want and save those searches in folders and have little one click searches that you'll be able to do in the league um just incredibly helpful stuff i couldn't I, I wouldn't want to exist without better trading right now it's um probably my number one on the entire list mm, but yeah better trading really really good definitely get it moving on to the next one is our trade helpers i I use Awaken PoE Trade. There are a lot of different options. Awaken PoE Trade has so far been my favorite. This is what I use to price check stuff. Um, it ends up looking like this. When you go to price check something, you can check based on roles, tick the roles you want, hit search. Um, I am currently not 100% sure how this is going to work because you do need to now be logged into the trade website for it to work. What I'm expecting is that all of these tools will receive an update very, very soon, at least the ones that are still getting maintained, which this one is, um, that will just let you use an auth code to log into the trade website, or GDD is going to do something to let these work still. Um, so there's a little bit of a caveat on this, that if, it, if we can't hit that search button, it becomes a lot less useful. Um, I'm expecting that to be fine. Um, so we will see moving forward, but it is amazing. It lets me price, especially all of my uniques. I'm going to be pricing a lot of uniques and basing those uniques on roles, which you can very easily tick the role that matters and then scroll it to wherever you need it to be and then check for uniques with those roles, which is going to be very, very useful this league with a lot of uniques being changed a lot of uniques having really big ranges and divines just not being appropriate things to spam 20 of on one item so i expect that to get a lot of use um provided that it still works but we have no way of knowing if it's going to work or not so we'll see the next one i use is peewee trade companion which is a trading tool that you that when i get messaged for an item um points me to the stash tab and the location in that stash tab where an item is so that i don't have to go looking for it based on the message unfortunately the github for that is down um and i'm not entirely sure why i do have a temporary download link for it which will be in the description I don't know what's happened with this though. I don't know why the GitHub is down. I've been using it for ages. It's definitely perfectly safe. There's nothing wrong with it. It's really good. But if this GitHub doesn't come up in the next one or two leagues, eventually this program will stop working because this might mean it's not getting updates anymore. So there may be a change to which tool I use for this. Um, 
as soon as this stops working, I'll have to look for an alternative. For now, it's still working great, so I'll keep using it. Next up, the GitHub for Chaos Recipe Enhancer. Now, this is something we should probably only use for the first few days of a league. Basically, what this does is it will make changes to your filter. It'll give you this little bar here, which will show you, it'll make changes to your filter that you can determine what color they'll become, but it will make things very, very, very bright. And what those will become are items that you're going to pick up to do the unidentified chaos recipe on day one. You should be doing this basically as soon as you get to maps. Basically, as soon as we get to maps, um, this is a really good way to get your initial chaos. Now, I never used to do the chaos recipe. The reason I do it now is because when you go to turn in the chaos recipe, it puts this little grid and literally tells you what items to pick up to make the chaos recipe out of your own stash. So that made the process much quicker for me. This is the only way I would ever do it. If this tool stops working, I just don't do the chaos recipe because my small pea brain cannot handle counting out two rings, an amulet, two weapons, a chest, gloves, helmet. I just, I get lost. I get lost. Um, the big difference and the big reason this works so well is as you dump stuff into your tab, it will start turning things off. It'll say, oh, you've got too many gloves and it'll update your loot filter for you. And then there's just a button that you press, which you can also hotkey that refreshes the filter because the one thing that this thing can't do is it's not actually allowed to interact with the game. So it can update the filter file that's on your computer, but it can't refresh the filter. So it can't do that automatically. That has to be something that you do, a button you press because that's in line with GGG rules. If they, if they made it automatically update, then it would become automation. And that would be something that would be against terms and services and we could get in trouble. So while they would have the ability to do that, they don't, they don't do that because that would break terms and services. So we do have to press the hotkey ourselves, but it'll make a little, a little pleasant delink when it's ready to be updated. And then you'll just press the little update button and so items will turn off on your filter because you don't need them anymore. And then when you've got, you know, five sets of chaos recipe in your dump tab, you just go, oh, I'm just going to go over to the dump tab and I'll do my chaos, five sets of unidentified chaos recipes and I'll have another 10 chaos. And then we move on. Great. Fantastic tool for early league. Absolutely use it. The next one I've put in purely because there just might be really brand new people, very new people to PoE who don't know. Path of building fork. Everyone has this. This is mandatory. I'm not going to spend any time on this. If you're brand new to the game, like brand new, this is the one thing that is absolutely 100% mandatory. You must download this. Every build guide that you ever look at, everything that we ever do always requires path of building. Half of the time experience players spend more time in path of building than they do in PoE. This is our build planner and... It's how, it's how we do everything. I don't need to spend any more time on that. Everyone who's not a super brand new player already using this. So moving on next, and you're going to love this, is the TFT bulk selling tool. Um, the rumors of TFT's death have been greatly exaggerated. So this is just a website that you can log into with your path of exile account it'll just get authorized and what you can do is you can point it at a fragment tab or an oil tab or a scarab tab or a fossil tab or an essence tab or a blinded maps or deliriums anything like that you can point it at that tab it'll price that entire tab for you you can turn individual items on and off if you want to you can also manually change the value if you feel like something is wrong and then it will generate a Discord message for the Forbidden Trove server to sell an entire tab of items at once. So if you've got essences on your map device and five, six, seven days into the league, you're not using a bunch of essences, but they're just piling up in that tab and you have collected a lot of them. This is the tool. This is the website that we use to generate this message where we can just sell an entire tab at once. 
And what will end up happening quite often is that people will be like, oh, I'm broke, I'm broke. And then we'll go to their essence tab and we'll find out that they've got 13x worth of essences. And they'll just go to TFT and sell the entire 13x worth of essences in one trade after spending two minutes in this website generating its little manual list. Um, and then they'll be like, okay, now I've got money. And so that's a pretty important tool to use. Probably less important than some of the others, but especially if you collect a lot of things and you want to sell them easily. TFT bulk selling tool, absolutely amazing. Oh, right. Next up, loot filters. Please get good loot filters, guys. I know this is another generic one, but if you don't have good loot filters, please get them. Um, you can just subscribe to loot filters. I think my loot filters are like the best. I'm not biased at all. There's no, there's no reason that I would think that at all if they weren't the best. I'm definitely not biased. There's definitely a link to my filters here and you can follow league start mapping and strict and then be able to change between them. But if you don't like that, at least get some good filters from someone. At least don't ever go with regular or soft. Uh, the semi strict is like day one. And honestly, I think you should be up on at least strict by the time you're in yellow maps. If we're looking at just using the base ones, I think you should be up on at least strict by yellow maps or we've got a problem. Do get good loot filters to help more than you think. Next, this one's one of my favorites. I absolutely love this one. Um, this is a little regex vendor search thing that you can use super early on day one. Let's say you're building a build and you want uh, a green and two blues and three blues as your, your links. These are the links you need early. You can just tick these and then be like, I would like those and I would like movement speed. And I would love it if we had, say, a plus one cold wand or flat elemental damage on a wand. And those are all the things I'd be looking for from a vendor. And then what you end up having is this little regex string that it just gives you. that You can just save and you can just paste that into any vendor wi window and it will highlight all the things that you want and it'll gray out everything else. So instead of painstakingly looking through a vendor, you just paste that in and just flick through the tabs really quick and anything you want will be highlighted. And if, it, if there's nothing highlighted, you can just move on knowing you haven't missed anything is absolutely fantastic. This is a great thing. Um, the last one on my list is this one, which is a anoint helper outer. Now this is only really relevant for the first day or maybe up to three days of a league because later on in a league, you don't pick your anoints based on what oils you have. You just anoint whatever is the best for your build. But really early, you're not gonna have very many oils. So sometimes it's pretty hard to work out what to anoint on your trash amulet on day one or day two, because you're poor, you can't afford to go buy oils and you don't know what you can get. So with this one, what it'll let you do is be like, oh, I have 20 of those, I have 30 of those, I have eight of those, I have six of these, I have five, four of them, two of them, I didn't get one of them, I got one of them, and I got one of them. And then it'll just let you select what you want, and it makes you a little curated list of all of the anoints that you could possibly have with specifically the oils that you have, which is really good for working out when when what what to anoint when you have very little very little oils it's incredibly useful for that um outside of the first week you can then forget this exists again because you're probably going to just buy whatever oil you need um i will give an honorable mention to fuzzy search which is another trade website thing which i will have a link to I just, it's not as important as all the rest of them, but basically all that fuzzy search does is it puts this little tilde sign at the start of every single thing you type into the stat filter area. Now, the reason that that's important 
is because it lets you just do stuff like oh i want cold damage with bows and you can just do cold damn bow and it just lets you write anything and if any part of that matches any part of the modifier then they'll all show up anything that that makes a match shows up it's really good for just being quicker but it's also really good when you're not 100 sure of the exact syntax of like a specific mod that you're looking for like you want fire damage taken you want physical damage taken as fire but you don't know like what the wording is and you can just say taken fire physical oh here it is physical damage from hits taken as fire right that's how that's written if you don't have fuzzy search it doesn't let you do that um that being said all fuzzy search does is put that little tilde at the front of the stat filter for you every single time that you search so it only gets an honorable mention because you you, you could just press that button yourself every single time but it is again just a little chrome extension so i i just i just installed it and it's amazing all right that is the list of tools i hope that helps everybody I will see everybody next time.